How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring you along with me to just show you how I take my sport photography from my tennis academy and hopefully this will help you out if you're trying to get into sport photography. So let's jump right into it. So I take a lot of sport photography obviously because I have a tennis academy so I have to create content for social media when it comes down to my tennis academy and well the best way to do it is by taking photos with my camera and the best thing about it is I get to use my 7180 Tamron lens because it's a great telephoto lens when it comes down to trying to capture good framing shots to fill the frame basically and have a good up close and personal without having to be too close because well there are rackets swinging around and I do not feel like getting hit whatsoever so that's one of the reasons why I basically you know use that lens and that's the lens that we're going to be using today so I'm going to bring you along with me to just show you a little bit of my day I have a couple students of mine that I asked to come uh, this morning to do a couple photos with them like if we were doing like a, a, all around practice and everything like that that. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I do when it comes down to those photos and you know if you're into some tennis this will be fun if uh, I don't know you're not into tennis it'll still be fun because it's photography related so that's why you're here and while you're here don't forget to you know give it a thumbs up or you know a little bit of a follow if uh, you're liking the content. I do provide a lot of, you know, tutorials and testing out whatever I can of gear with that I buy myself, just in case you're looking to buy gear uh, and you don't want to buy it right away and just make sure it's good. So if you're into that, you know, follow. But anyways, um, we're going to start, you know, having some nice little coffee. I'm not into fancy coffee, so don't judge me. And then uh, we'll get all geared up to go and then uh, show you what I do. So, you know, let's enjoy this. So we're here now where my tennis academy is and we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know start taking some photos and whatnot and uh, seeing how the kids are doing and playing some tennis. Let's go. Get under the ball and through. There you go, see? Got a little warm up. Because otherwise the photos will suck. So I'm gonna be using the 7180 Tamron with my Sony A7R3. So I kinda wanna just cover my settings. I'm trying to keep it like the one over 4,000 or one over 5,000, even if it's a little bit darker, cause I wanna freeze time as much as possible when it comes to like the sport photography. So I even can bump my ISO to like 400, 800 sometimes outside. It won't matter really that much in my opinion. So that's basically what I'm gonna be doing when it comes down to the setup um, of the lens and the settings as well. So I usually use the zone autofocus, so it just zones um, and focus on the person that's in front of it, and that's pretty much it. So took a couple warm-up shots, and now we're gonna get into the real stuff. So here we go. Okay. No, I'm just so, rolling video right now. I have to demonstrate how to be good at tennis. So. Hello. I just don't. So approach up. Move out of the way, Charlie. Ruining the good video. I'll go that way. All right. So what you doing? Approach up, coming up. Oh, okay. Faster, so that you get a little bit. Uh, you get a more faster pace. It's like boom, boom kind of style. But with that being said, it'll help you out to just work on those approach shot up the line and then a volley cross court every time. All right, let me go.
Don't flick it. So now that we did a little bit of the forehand side, we're gonna do the backhand side. Same thing with the ball machine, just to kind of get them going and playing. And then, you know, then we'll do some live playing with the kids so that we can capture some of those moments. But time to do the backhand. Um, hopefully you're, you're liking these uh, shots. Uh, nothing too creative just yet, but we'll get there in a bit. Don't mind everybody uh, messing up over there because that was just for we show. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Me. Me. She's like, we stuck. Well, anyways, uh, Charlie came in with the glory of uh, you know not sucking so much apparently. I, I carry the team right there. Right? Yeah. I mean, clearly, while your back of the head is just right there. What? Get back. <laughs> Don't need all your face and put them on the camera right there, but oh yeah, it's still fine. Everything that you see, don't do. Yeah. Don't believe it. Yeah. Don't, don't worry, it's a, the Hollywood magic. I'll make them look good on photo, so that's that all that rough. matters. That was a rough little <laughs> thrill there. Time to teach Charlie how it's done. Oh. Have it warmed up, team. Oh. Right. YouTube magic, I can erase that. Out of your reach, maybe. I was so in. We're done taking photos, so I'm gonna now go, you know, teach him how to play tennis. But yeah, I hopefully like the photos, guys, because we got the awesome model Amber over there. Well, you can't see her because she's out of frame, but she'll come back in. Amber right there, and you know, Maddie and Charlie's over there, so thankful for them to, you know, be fine, be put through these experiments. So yeah, it's good stuff. Oh, what a dropper! Oh! 
So yeah, that was just basically using the 7180 Tamron and just zoomed in whenever I wanted to. Kept a really fast shutter speed, sometimes one over 4,000 or one over 8,000. So yeah, that way you know the settings for that. Hopefully this was insightful for you guys to get better with your sport photography. And that's pretty much all I got for you. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.